Good evening, students. Okay. Today, we already know different area of application of arrays. We know matrix operation as in multidimensional array, different sorting algorithm like bubble sort, insertion sort, and selection sort. Okay. Today, we will learn another area of array. Till now, we dealt with integer type and float types of array. Now, we will use character type of array. Let's start with string. Okay, let's have a look in a simple program. Here it is. Okay, have you seen anything new in this program? Yes. Firstly, here an array is declared as you can see, an array is declared with data type character. So, character array is used here. This is defined as a string. So, a new name of character array is string. Now, see the scanf function here. Here, percentage ACE is used to read the STR variable. Previously, we used percentage D and percentage F in scanf function. Here, we are using percentage ACE to denote a string type of variable. And another thing, which is most interesting, the absence of ampersand operator in the scanf function. <coughs> I'm sorry. We generally see segmentation fault or some abnormal output with some garbage value if we missed ampersand. But here, in case of string, we are not allowed to insert ampersand in scanf. Okay, look at the program again. By the time you can easily guess the execution, I mean the output of the program. Okay, exactly. As you are thinking, you will, it will ask for a string. Then that string will be printed on the screen. Absolutely right. By the way, before we check the execution in details, let us introduce a new thing. Okay, the null character. This is called the null character. A null character is always present at the end of any string. Actually, null character is the terminating sequence in a string. So, if you see the example, we have a string here. Name of size 50. And the input string element is BPPIMT. So, how many spaces are needed for this? It is 0 through 6, totaling of 7 memory space, including the last character, I mean the null character, this one. So, how many characters we able to place in name, yes, it is 49. So, when we will take any string, we have to consider the null character and accordingly, we have to take the size of the string. Okay. So, moving to the output of the program. Yeah, as we are thinking, Enter, we are uh, taking a string of maximum 50 characters and it's entered as Kolkata and then it's printed. The entered string is Kolkata. Fine. Now run the program again and give input as 
BPP IMT Kolkata like this with a blank space. Okay. Here, what we get? The entered string is BPP IMT. Is it the desired output? No. As the word Kolkata is missing. So, yes, we need some special methodology to take input string with blank space. Right? Okay. In C compiler, we have two functions by which we can overcome the problem. If we use gets function instead of scanf function, then it will take entire string including the blank space. So, to use gets function, we, we have to include the string.h header. Okay. Inside string.h header, we have another important function written. It is called puts. Here. This function is similar to printf function. We print a string as well as given statement using this. By the way, gets means get string and puts mean put string. As simple as that. So, we are writing the previous program again with gets function. Okay, have a look on it. Here it is. Here we use the gets function. Okay, over here we get function after printf to read the string entered and then a puts function to print the string with additional statement. Note, gets function does not need percentage s. Only the variable name is sufficient to take this. Okay. So, here is the output of the program. Enter a string of maximum 50 character. I have entered BPPIMT Kolkata and then the entered string is BPPIMT Kolkata. As the input is given, the output is coming perfectly. And note it, if we entered BPPIMT Kolkata India, the output will be the entered string is BPPIMT Kolkata India. Okay, it is absolutely same as I have entered in the string up to the size 50. Okay. Okay, let's do some processing on the string. Okay, in string there actually many operations are possible. Like we, we have, we may have to calculate the length of the string. We may have to copy the string. We may have to compare between two string, or even we may have to merge one string into another. Okay, for this there are many pre-written functions are there under string dot h header file. Okay, here we have some function written. The first one is strlen as you see from the name strlen the first three letter that is str goes for the string and len goes for the length so this is an this is a function to compute the length of a string entered and very careful, the return type is uh, is an integer type. Actually, it, it is returning some integer value, the size, the space available in the string. Okay. And in argument, you have to press the string name. Okay. And the next one, as you can see, it is STRCPY. From the name, it is clear. STR stands for the string and CPY for copy. And what happens? Here you have to mention two string. 
Here I have DST STR and SRC STR. DST STR is a string. Actually, this is the destination string and SRC STR is the source string. So what will happen if you write, use this function, the source STR, SRC STR will be copied to DST STR. By the way, the string present previously in DST STR will be overwritten if anything written in DST dot STR. Okay. And the next function, it is actually also very common, strcmp. By this function, what we can do, we can compare two string. Actually, this comparison happens between two string bit by bit. Actually, uh, every string has some ASCII value. Here, actually, we, ha uh, we have a comparison bit by bit in the ASCII value of that string and it returns the integer value, final integer value after the comparison. Okay. And mo uh, the last most commonly used function is strcat. It stands for string cat. Actually cat come from concatenation. Okay. So here also we have written dststr and strcstr. We have two strings actually. From the SRC, from the source string, the content of source string will be written after the destination string. Okay, let's have a look in a program. Okay, okay, here in this program, we have included string.h and then I have two string str1 of size 50 and str2 of size 50 again. Then we are taking first string and then the second one. And then we are simply printing first string and then second string. Now, by this line, what we are doing? We are printing the length of string 1 and length of string 2. Mind it, as its return type is integer, here we use percentage %d and percentage %d for both the strings. And then I have written str cpy, yes, for comparing string 2 to string 1. And then, uh, I'm sorry, str cpy for copying. I'm extremely sorry, str cpy for copying. What we are doing here, we are copying str1 to str2. And, uh, and then I printing str1 and str2 here, str1 and str2, both will be printed the same thing. And then we have done one comparison using strcmp, comparison of str1 and str2. By the way, the comparison result here will be zero because str1 and 2 are now same. And finally, we have done uh, strcat. Okay, let's have a look at the output of the program. Okay, enter the first string, I have entered BPBMT. Enter the second string, I have entered Kolkata. This is the first string BPPMT Kolkata and the size here as you can see 6 and 7 and then string 1 BPPMT again string 2 becomes BPPMT and so the comparison result is 0 and then by concatenation the final result is BPPMT BPPMT. Okay, so this program are as that much simple you can see. Now here we have displayed some common function used generally for string operation like str and cpy str and cmp str upr all the functions are placed over here and here the some few more uh, function pre-written by the way all these function we can write our own. We can write our own string copy function. We can write our own string reverse function. Anything we can write easily using string.h and our std lib function. Okay. So, guys, this is basically all about string. Okay. What you have to do if you have any doubt on this string, you just ask me. It may be in Moodle. It may be. Uh, when I go live in YouTube or even you can WhatsApp me. Okay, so 
थैंक यू फॉर नाउ